Hey guys, Jonathan Rose, owner, Masters in Trading. So, playing around today with the TAS Thinkorswim Sizzle Index. So, all I really did, stock, sizzle index, scan. That's it. This is going to give us our top 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Top 10. And then call sizzle index, put sizzle index. And all this is going to tell us is if there's possibly unusual option activity if there is more calls being traded than normal if there's more puts being traded than normal so here's a perfect example looking at the first one mrtx marathi therapeutics now i don't know very much about this name it's down 2.63 percent today on volume of about 400,000, 3.4 billion dollar market cap so let's go and let's see what all the hubbub's about let's see if we can find this call sizzle trade so mrtx first we start off in december in december stocks trading 86 there's nothing there 85 were traded right here 16 traded right here not really much activity leaving december go to january here's where they're going to find their call sizzle trades these are really big trades right five thousand on only four hundred thousand of volume so now we want to take this trade and look into it because the edge for us is to figure out and interpret what the heck is this trade doing? Because this is a big trade, right? 5,000. 5,000 is big. Considering it's 5,000 and 5,000, someone just did 200, it's probably safe to say it's a spread, right? So it's either going to be a call debit spread or call credit spread, most likely stocks at 86. These are both out of the money. So what we can do now is close that, go to options, time and sales, open it up. And right here, we found our orders, right? They were done at 1045. I'm in central, central time, 100 calls, 120 calls. Here are the prices. The market at the time the trade was done, the delta, the implied volatility, and the price of the underlying at the time of the transaction. But now what's really valuable is we want to figure out what did they do? Right away, they did 435 and 105. So the spread, a vertical call spread, is going to be $3.30. So if you do a 10 lot, that's $3,300 of risk. If you do a 100 lot, $30,000 of risk. 1,000 lot, 300,000 of risk, 5,000 is a $1.5 million trade. So let me tell you, if you're trading MRTX, you want to know. You want to know that somebody came in and just placed a massive, massive bet. And that bet is suggesting that MRTX trades above, at least above 100 within 56 days. Now, I want to show you how I was able to conclude that this was a vertical call debit spread. It's a bullish trade. Here's how I know that. Remember we shared the time of the trade, 1045. So if you really want to know the direction of a trade, you always go to the timestamp, 1045. Now look at a, let's look at a chart so we can see the behavior of the stock as this trade was being filled. Here's your MRTX, I have it on a daily, but let's put it on a one minute. That's really what we want, a one minute. Let me open it up, today is Friday. So MRTX got hit hard at the opening, traded lower, but let's look at the timestamp. The timestamp was 1045, right? Right here, here's the trade. The trade took the stock from 85.60 to a high of 87.74. This trade, in my opinion, it's true, is definitively a bullish trade. Now, the reason why is because this trade was filled by the market makers. The market makers, after doing that trade, must have ended up with short deltas. Market makers are trading volatility. They don't want to speculate on the direction of MRTX. So as they got filled on this spread, they realized they're short deltas. So in order to get long deltas, they have to buy the underlying stock. 
as they buy the underlying stock, the stock rallies $2. Once they get filled, it comes back down. But pretty confident. I would say 97, 98%. This is a call vertical debit spread. Now, what do we think going forward? Well, tell you what, I don't know who did this trade, but they just risked $1.5 million on an out of the money trade. That's a huge percentage of the overall stock volume because if these get in the money, they're going to be long 500,000 shares. That's more than the daily volume today. So I'm going to give this player the benefit of the doubt that they know more than we do. So if you're looking for a trade to do, if you want to paper trade something, you watch MRTX over the next 56 days. I bet you're going to see a big rally. And I won't be surprised if these guys end up making money because institutions, endowments, they know what they're doing. They're not going to make money every time, but this isn't a random trade. They're doing that trade for a reason. So I hope it helps. Learning how to follow unusual options activity is an unbelievable, valuable skill that every trader should possess in their tool kit. My name is Jonathan Rose. I'm the owner of Masters in Trading.